Hello YouTube and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be having a quick gameplay on Hellblade. Tell you what I think about it. The darkness touched you. Everyone could see it in the hollows of your eyes. A gaze averted from life. You ran from it but brought it nearer. Led it to him. An endless suffering worse than death. And you wanted to surrender. Abandon and to find peace with the gods. No. The darkness won't allow it. So you will walk into the lair of the beast. Look it in the eye. And you will go to war. This is your mission. This is your quest. There is nothing else left. So, I just felt like doing a quick gameplay of this. Um, just beating the game. And I've got to play through it to get some collectibles I missed on the first go around. Which we'll talk a bit more about in a minute. And I just wanted to uh, show you how it plays. And hear my thoughts on the game. Uh, as you can see, it looks absolutely stunning. And from that cutscene you just watched, the storyline, top quality, really is. And I'm not one of these people who's really mad for storylines. But the storyline itself and the effect with the headphones on, it's like a psychosis effect. You get voices coming through each side and every time there's some sort of pressure situation it starts making you panic and stuff. Really does kick in. Really, really good. Brilliant. But this game has its downside. A lot of bad points. One of them being this, the combat, which you'd expect to be really good. Especially since it's come from a developer that has done lots of combat games in the past. The gods make you it doesn't work very well. I mean, I'm, I'm well practiced in it now, I've played through the game. And doing little fight scenes like this, quite easy to be fair. But when you get a lot of enemies on screen at once, the game all targets whichever one you're aiming at. And quite often, it'll get it wrong. Which one do you want to hit? Another down point to the combat is the camera. So as you can see, you've got a roll and dodge. And it's quite okay in an area like this. When you're playing in a arena type area, which you are quite a lot, you're in like a circle arena and you'll get penned in by enemies and stuff. When you're in that situation, the camera tends to trap you. And you'll end up rolling into stuff and it just won't be good at all. See that? I wanted to focus the guy in the front there. And it took me straight to the guy at the back, even though I was aiming towards this guy. It's not very fluid at all, isn't the controls for fighting. And you don't get, ever get told how to fight either. There's no tutorial or anything like that. You literally just get stuck into the game. And you've got to figure out how to do all the fighting by yourself. Which is good as well. It adds to the like intensity of the game. I won't lie. But a bit of a helper would, you know, help you out a little bit. It didn't have to be something mega intense like a full tutorial. But you can't even practice. If you're not in a fight scene like we are at the moment, you can't pull your sword out and practice. You just the only time you can pull your sword out is if you're in an area where you can fight. So yeah, 
when it comes to practice in the game, it is quite awkward. Thankfully, it's not very difficult. I think I died twice doing a full playthrough of it. Once when I very first had to learn the fighting. And once when I just didn't know what was going on. So that's the second Grand Rise game. Puzzle elements. I must say that I thought this was going to be a hack and slash for the most part. And it wasn't. Yeah, you get these bits which are pretty cool. But that's it now. Now I'm going to be on the puzzle section. I put my sword away. I can't do any sword play. I can't mess around, jump around, smack stuff. You can't even jump. You literally can't jump in this game. Um, it's very puzzle intensive, is this game. Not hard puzzles either. It feels like the puzzles are just put in there to drag the gameplay out, in my opinion. Some of them add to the experience of the game. But for the most part, I can't remember if there's any puzzles in this section. For the most part, the puzzles are just go to part A, figure out a path, find something and get back to part B. It's, there's nothing really hard about it. Uh, for a game that I thought was going to be mainly a hack and slash type of game, there was a section of this, it's not far away from here, where you basically spend four levels just, fat, just basically doing puzzles. No fighting, no nothing, just doing puzzles. Uh, I chose this part of the game to show you gameplay because it doesn't really tell you much of the storyline. And I didn't want to like ruin it for people who haven't played it. As you can see now, I'm, uh, I'm struggling to get around people for cameras and stuff. And you die. Right, I'm going to concentrate this time. I'm going to try and beat this guy now. Not that hard to beat once you get used to what they're going to do, the attack patterns and stuff. Uh, some of them, the bosses especially, they can be a bit of a pain to learn the attack patterns. He's got a little way with it, way to attack. What sort of attacks work best? So in some of them, you don't want to attack, you want to uh, defend. And then you can defend and you can attack backwards after you've defended. Especially some of the bosses. There's quite a few bits where you're better off using your defense to build up your focus meter. Or rather than attacking. So now we've got a bit of focus. That means we can just properly attack. Some of the bosses are quite tricky, especially towards the end. He's stronger than you. But for the most part, the fighting part is just waves of enemies coming you. You get used to which ones to tackle how. You know, it's good tactics to take each type out. But every now and again, you'll get one sneak up behind you. It just appears behind you. You don't know about it. And uh, you kind of. You get stuck, basically, in the arena. Luckily, you can generally get out of the attack range and stuff quite quickly. Once you get hit, you slow down a bit. But for the most part, you can get away with it. It is a lot harder when you've got more one enemy, though. And some parts, you've got four or five enemies coming at you. And that makes it really tricky. So you see that I wanted to aim at that guy then. And I couldn't. I thought I was targeting him. But the game thought I was targeting the other guy, so that's where I win. 
The combat just doesn't feel fluid. I don't know, it's janky as hell, really. You'd expect it to be a lot better when it's such a major part of the game. Yourself getting hit when you shouldn't really get hit. I pressed defend there, press block, and it didn't block because it already gone mid into a combat scene. She's hurt. She won't make it. I'm a real risk in not use focus here. I'm a real risk in getting attacked from behind like that, and it's meant to slow everything down. Again, you just get trapped by it. Once you've hit him a few times, they go into slow down mode as well. So the guy in the back at a minute is injured. But then another enemy just appears out of the blue. <laughs> I need to get out of the guy out of the way now. I dodged there, and it didn't move at all. Terrible game. I say the gameplay is a bit 
bit dodgy. But it's not terrible, it's it's well worth a game. Well worth a playthrough. It is well worth a playthrough. But probably only once. I don't think it's one of them games I'm ever going to come back to at all. So now I've beaten it, I know the storyline. That was the only real plus point in my opinion. The gameplay itself probably doesn't warrant a second playthrough. Um, if it wasn't for the fact that I needed to go through and get the platinum, I wouldn't be doing another playthrough now, in all honesty. I'll find this S now somewhere. There you go. So yeah, I mean the only reason I'm playing through it now is to get a platinum trophy. Would I recommend playing this game? Yeah, I would. It is worth a blast. It really is. Uh, where are you going? I didn't want to go down there. It is worth a good playthrough. Um, I said the storyline is absolutely epic. It really is. But it's that good that once you've played it, you kind of know what's happening in it, don't you? Come on, you can see that. Just want to focus on it then for some reason. So we can get through that, I don't know. Um, that's basically all the puzzles all the way through the game. Controls, they're just not great. Look, I can't get down a ladder now. It's like playing Alien 3 on Mega Drive or something. But yeah, if you like storyline driven games, it is worth one shot at least. Definitely worth a shot. And in all honesty, I can see this becoming one of those cool games in the future that's really collectible. Just for the storyline and from the effects on the headphones. Really, really good, really good. But is it a keeper for me? I don't think so. I mean, I'm going to apply it and I'm going to sell it. I'm not going to play through it ever again. I'm not going to collect games that are just cool classics and people say they're good. That's it. I played it. I enjoyed the playthrough. I'm never going to play it again. So, for me, it's a seller. Open the damn door, woman. Everything's just so slow in the game. It really is. It just, I don't know. It kills it off. So that's it, I just wanted to have a quick look at the puzzle elements, the fighting elements, which again, like I said, for the game it's so heavily based on puzzles and fighting, I don't think even of that, <laughs> I don't think even of that is particularly good in this game. It's the storyline that makes it, it really is. If it didn't have a good storyline, I'd have put this down within about 10 minutes, I reckon. I really would. So anyway, have you played it? What do you think of it? Let me know in the comments. Uh, I'm going to sell my copy once I've got this platinum. So that's what I think of it. Worth one play, and that's it. Job and knock. So I'm going to carry on, find these hidden rooms, and then that's me done with this one. Now, I'll see you again soon with another video. Bye!